non-Christianism. The passion, death, and resurrection. Dagdag ko pa, ha? Ito namang mga nagre-renewal ng Corpus for Christ. Sa mga transparokyal. The single most powerful movement in the church today is the charismatic movement. Right? Where do they enter? LSS. Tama? LSS, tapos mag-marriage encounter. Tapos mag-family encounter. Tama? Gusto-gusto nila yan. Mga CFC. Okay. Review the modules. Fathers, you are the catechetical directors. You review the modules. You will discover this. There is no sense of church. There is no discussion of what church is all about. It's the couple and relationship with Jesus. Basta ko si. Yun lang. There is no sense of the particular church. There is no sense of the engagement in the parish setting. There is no sense of what the diocese is. What does that mean? These graduates are simply floating. They do good, fine. But they don't have a church. Kaya, ang nangyayari, pag tumawag ang CFC, iniiwan lahat ng mga CFC niya ng mga parokya. Kasi may general assembly. Am I right? Yes. That's what happens in Shel Shaddai. They have a relationship with Jesus. Fine. My beloved does it very well. But the question is, which diocese do you belong? Oh, that's not even a question. What does that mean? We're not or they're not presenting the whole truth. The whole Christian reality, the whole Christian truth, of which it is your responsibility as catechetical directors and coordinators. Hindi lang kayo pang bata, pang matanda pa. Yan ang dapat pag-aralan. You know why I did that? Because when Cardinal Sin was alive, he asked me, please review the modules of CFC. When I reviewed all the modules, there is no, nothing about church. Nothing. It's about the relationship of husband and wife. Tama. Relationship of husband and wife with family. Tama. Relationship of husband and wife with Jesus. Tama. Ang gandun lang. Kaya couples for? Christ. Kaya ayaw nilang pasakop sa parokya. Just put that at the back of your head. Huh? You have to renew the modules. And challenge them to have a sense of the... Kaya nga sabi ko sa inyo, sentire cum eglesia. To think in the church. Because you cannot behead the church. When you talk about Jesus, you must talk about the church. Because the church is the body of the of Christ. Now, let's move on. In liberation, this is the add-on of PCP2. It is to identify that if our problems are social in nature, cultural in nature, we need to identify that sin is the root of social ills. And there is a call towards conversion conversion of life, and that we need to follow the way of Jesus. And following the way of Jesus means that we need to form a social conscience. And how do you form a social conscience? You form a social conscience in and through the prism and the light of Catholic social teachings. Now, please take note. Yan din ang isa sa mga kulang sa mga catechetical centers. Yan din ang kulang sa formation. Ano yun? Social teachings. Ang tawag, the church's best kept secret. <laughs> Why? Because for us, nagtatapos lang na me and the church, me and people. Basta kayo mga tigista ha, huwag na kayo mga asaltat ako sa politika. Bakit? Kasi hilaw din. Isang katikatikong center. Mga katikatikong centers, nireview ko ang ano, sa Eche. Nako, talagang social teachings, wala. 
Kaya kapag may mga issues na nag-surface, ang mga katikis na napakahirap yakagin. Why? Because for them, Catholic faith is privatized. We need to deprivatize the Catholic faith. Take note, my brother priests know this, ha? Huh? Social ethics. Catholic social teachings. Ano ibig sabihin nun? Mulat sa mga katotohanan. I have presented this as part of part two next year in your social teachings. Why? The principles of reflection, criteria of judgment, and directives of action. That's Catholic social teachings. Principles of reflection, criteria of judgment, directives of action. See, judge, act. How do we train? Tagalogin natin, masusing pag-iisip ng mga tanda ng panahon. Masusing pag-iisip at pagbabasa ng mga tanda ng panahon ayon sa liwanag ng katolisismo pananampalataya. Ibig sabihin, mayroon na tayong body of principles and of the principles of Catholic social teachings, which is the most basic, the most basic of all, the most basic of all principles in Catholic social teachings is the principle of imago Dei, the dignity of the human person. That the human person can never be used as a means to an end, as a tool of production. And that's very strong. That is why you know you know, our Archbishop Villegas is so passionate about that. Eh? Because for him, when you strike at the person, you strike at God. <coughs> because the person has a dignity made in the image and likeness of God with inalienable rights. And the most fundamental of all rights is the right to life. life. The right to life. That the human person has a right to life from the moment of conception to the moment of natural death. And that the church as an institution must always protect the dignity of the human person. As simple as that. That is so basic. Before you talk about common good, social justice, societal charity, Subsidiarity, solidarity, preferential option for the poor. Ah, before you go into that, the most basic is dignity of the human person. I call that principle of imago Dei. And where is that found? The compendium of the social doctrine of the church. Pagkaralanti yan next year. Palalimin pa natin. Bakit? Yun ang dapat ibaba. The formation of a social conscience. And how do you form a social conscience? You have to do what we call a pastoral spiral. I will move towards that later. And the pastoral spiral is the method of the Federation of Asian Bishops Conferences or the FABC. Okay? Okay na tayo? Liberation? So we have a double message. And what is the double message? Salvation, liberation. Malinaw tayo? What are the three areas under salvation? Catechesis, worship, social apostolate. How do you renew it? New methods, new expressions, new fervor. Tama? That's the salvation. Under liberation, this is the agenda. But... The agenda that is so important is this. Structures do not commit sins. People do. Yun ang sinasabi. Corruption is not committed by structures. Corruption is committed by persons. Thus, persons need to undergo conversion and need to be schooled in the way of Jesus. What is the way of Jesus? Authentic discipleship. And that you form social conscience in light of Catholic social teachings. 
Now, okay na? Stop ako. Stop. Sige, five minute break. Maraming content kayo.